Good morning friends. It's been a while since I kind of did a little video and touched base with you guys. So I just wanted to share with you what we're up to and see if you can relate because spring is literally days away. The snow is gone. It's only 40 degrees out. It's lightly snowing. Maybe it's 30 something, but it feels amazing because there is no wind. I don't know about you guys, but in New York this year, I think winter felt so crazy to me long because of the wind. I couldn't get out, I couldn't take the dog for a walk. It's just way too windy. Okay, so if you guys have been following the blog, so you can see behind me, our big old barn built 100 years ago. It's crooked, it's falling over. It's kind of dangerous, right? So we built our new barn, which I'll drop a link below if you want to check out. We did a little video of it um, from start to finish. But anyway, we decided that if we were gonna continue to get chickens, because you can't not keep getting chickens, right? I mean, I shared that meme and so many of you, you can relate. It's springtime, we gotta get chickens, whether we're getting meat birds, our layers, whatever, we go a little crazy. Um, so we are going to put a little chicken coop inside of the barn. So this one um, we're doing, we have always free ranged our birds and we're gonna do the same with these ones. So here's our door and just a little framing. Now they don't need as much space because they're not gonna be in here all the time, right? So as long as they have their space to roost, they'll be good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a pulley door. So we'll have a rope up here so we can just pull the rope and their nice little door will open. La, and they can go out. Um, we're gonna have nesting boxes right here. So you'll see that. Um, and yeah, we can just grab the eggs out. The girls can lay there. Ever, we found this on the side of the road. This is such a great thing if you have a broody hen or um, we haven't hatched our own eggs yet, which I really am thinking about doing and trying. If you guys have and you have any tips, share them in the comments. But I would think that something like this would be great to keep your little chicks in. Um, I keep sick hens in here. Um, of course, then you probably want to wash it out and clean it out. But having an extra cage like that for your chickens is a really great thing to have on hand. So keep your eyes open on the side of the road. Keep your eyes open because as it's spring and people want to clean out, they don't want this stuff. Just never know. Um, so yeah, that's what we're kind of up to right now is building a new chicken coop. Here's Olive, our little mini pig. Um, let us know, let's see, what, tell us, you know, are you starting seeds? I'm gonna try something different this year. I'm gonna try seeds in milk jugs. Has anybody ever done that before? And uh, kind of see how that goes. So yeah, I hope you guys are getting really excited, planting your seeds, planning for the chickens. It's so fun. It's just this anxiously waiting for the weather to break. I love this little period. And um, spring is so amazing, isn't it? You guys, thank you for checking out the blog, checking out articles, supporting this page. It means so much to me. I thank you so much and have a great day.